When you think of World War One, I'm sure the stereotypical picture for most people is you see young men running through the trenches in the French countryside, firing rifles at their enemy. Battlefield 1 doesn't really follow that stereotype. A lot of people were disappointed to learn that there wouldn't be access to bolt action rifles on all classes, where they could take on that authentic stereotypical role, and instead the rifles were locked into the scout class. With that in mind, I took it upon myself to use those rifles, get a feel for them, and see if the rifleman experience in Battlefield 1 is something that can be enjoyed. Now, within the beta, and the scout class specifically, you have three options to take for your iron sight rifle. You've got the Gewehr M95, the Winchester 1895, and the Mark III Carbine. All of these are valid choices, and it really is dependent on which ranges you're really looking to be operating in. Most of the time, I simply ran the Gewehr because it was unlocked at the time, and it was a weapon that I hadn't tried yet. The Winchester and the Mark III are both good in medium to long range, with the Winchester probably being the middle ground between all of the options. Alongside that, you get your usual choice within the Scout class when it comes to gadgets, so running K-Bullets is almost a must, and the Anti-Tank was my choice for Grenade as well. First impressions were, well, what I expected. I hadn't adjusted to the mechanics of the rifles. I wrongly assumed that rifles without their scopes would somehow act differently in their core mechanics compared to their scoped brothers. I thought the rate of fire would be slower. I thought I'd need to be more methodical with my approach to gunfights, maybe putting a little bit of distance between myself and my enemy to guarantee my safety, and then maybe follow up with a pistol to finish them off. But as it turns out, that's not necessary at all. As I said in a previous video, all bolt actions are locked into the scout class purely to keep classes balanced, and that remains true. But I also said that bolt action and pistol gameplay could become very boring. I'd like to retract that statement, and that doesn't happen very often, and issue you a new one. The playstyle in Battlefield 1 of the Rifleman is extremely satisfying. You do, of course, need to be hot on your game to compete with some players in closer range gunfights. Your comparatively slow firing rifle is no match for an SMG or an LMG, but with some practice, I found ways to combat their clear advantage and turn the battle background in my favor. As with all engagements in Battlefield 1, you need to be alert and know where your enemy is, and you need to know what enemy they are as well. The game does a very good job with the character clothing and style to tell you straight away, without even needing to spot them, what weapons they hold and how much of a threat they could be to you. Going up against another scout though, with most likely them running a bolt action with a scope on it, can be a hard battle to win, but as you've seen from the gameplay in the background, even those fights can be won with a bit of movement and range. As I mentioned, my fear with being a rifleman in Battlefield 1 was going to be the reduced speed at which you could operate at. Bolt action animation slowing things down, reloading constantly, but to be honest, those fears never become realised when you're playing as the rifleman. I think it would have been silly if DICE had changed that, and we know that the speed of Battlefield 1 is a little bit faster than previous Battlefield games, and I think it's really, really good that the Rifleman just fits straight into that. The rechamber and reload times are exactly the same as the scoped variants of these weapons, so really, you're at no disadvantage there. The only place that you'll find combat different, and maybe a little bit more challenging, is with those iron sights. But I'd argue, and some of you will probably agree with this, the satisfaction of killing someone when they are clearly more suited to the gunfight with a much better weapon than you for that engagement, that satisfaction is pretty high. And Battlefield 1 does a really good job with the kill satisfaction anyway. The hit marker animation, the unique headshot sound as well. So when you're pulling away from a gunfight that you've won, rechambering the next round, it does feel pretty epic, especially as a rifleman. It isn't all sunshine and roses, though. <laughs> you can indeed pull off some awesome killstreaks with these rifles, but inherently, 
they are inferior to a lot of other choices that you could take. In close quarters, you're really just reduced to switching to your pistol. The rifle is next to useless unless you can get a lucky headshot or something. And at long range, the iron sights dwarf the player models and cover them completely in some cases, and that can be really hard to succeed with. I will say with practice though, I was able to pull off some headshot kills at range, but the majority of the time, the target was standing still, and I'm sure it would be much harder to land those shots with somebody on the move. I just kept in mind that landing two body shots at range would secure me the kill, and a lot of the time I just aimed for the body, and that worked out pretty well for me. Although it makes me very happy to see the rifleman loadout, if you can call it a loadout, let's just say the scout class without their scopes, it makes me happy to know that that kind of playstyle within Battlefield 1 is a viable option, but does that mean that the scout class is even more powerful because it has a completely different way of playing and it can still absolutely dominate? I think the general opinion with Battlefield 1 is that the scout class is either more powerful than the rest of the classes and therefore overpowered, or all of the other classes, the assault, the medic and the support, all of those are just simply underpowered in comparison to the scout. I'm not sure which side of the table I really sit, but it does worry me just a little bit that the scout has another playstyle, the rifleman loadouts, that they can use and they can dominate just as well as if they were using a scoped variant of the weapon. It does make me feel like the scout class is getting a lot of love and the other classes are kind of falling by the wayside. But we are in the beta, things aren't going to get changed and we've got a few days left to play it. So I'm just going to carry on having fun and continue to use these iron sight sniper rifles. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you've tried out the rifleman loadouts yet. I'd encourage you to give it a go. If you're somebody who likes moving around quickly, using cover, ducking and diving to make sure they're always at the advantage, the rifleman loadout, if you've got the hands and the coordination for it, can be a really rewarding experience. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.